look. It's an inspired makeup look from the drama serial Nagin, uh, where Moni Rao plays the character of Nagin. So yeah, if you if you're curious what is Nagin, then it's not. Okay, <laughs> makeup look is inspired by the beautiful Indian actress Moni Rao. See how gorgeous she looks in this makeup look. So if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. So I'm starting with this Benefit Professional Primer to minimize the appearance of my pores and it gives me a really nice and smooth uh, canvas for my foundation. And uh, afterwards I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation in shade beige. And then I'm just going to blend it with my beauty blender all over my face. Then I'm just going to apply it a little bit on my neck as well. Now for concealer, I'm using this LA Pro Girl Concealer in shade Creamy Beige and I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. As you can see, I have really bad dark circles. So that's why I'm applying it a little bit more on my eyes. And afterwards, I'm applying it on the bridge of my nose and on the highest points of my face to highlight my face as well. And then I'm just going to blend it out everything with my damp beauty blender. Yes, I'm just blending it. For my brows, I'm using this Sigma Brow Powder in shade Dark and then I'm just going to brushing out my hair and then filling it with that uh, powder. So in that drama serial, Moni Rao's brow are, you know, a very... Um, rounded from the arch so yes i'm just doing the same thing with my eyebrows because this is an inspired look so yeah i want to do the same thing with my eyebrows here and then i'm just going to lightly filling in my eyebrows So I already had primed my eyes and here I'm using this light brown shade from my Lorette Pro 2 palette and I'm just going to apply on the outer view of my eyes and on my crease line as a transition color. So yeah, I'm just blending it with this BH Cosmetics blending brush. And afterwards I'm going to take this um, mocha color from my palette. And then I'm just going to place it all over my eyelid. And then for a darker color, I'm using this plum shade from my palette and I'm just going to place it uh, on my ROV and on my crease a little bit. I'm not dragging it uh, towards my inner corner. So yes, keep that in mind. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow from my palette and then I'm just going to apply it under my lower lash line with my Krylon angle brush and um, in that drama serial she used to wear that black um, eyeshadow under her lower lash line so that's why I'm using this and uh, this is a little bit harsh so to make it a little bit softer here I'm using this light brown eyeshadow from the same palette and then I'm just going to smudge it over that black eyeshadow so yeah. So now for my eyeliner, I'm using this Inglot Gel Eyeliner in number 77 and I'm using this with my Sigma Beauty brush, eyeliner brush in number E10 and yes, I'm just going to apply it on my upper lash line. So in that drama serial, her eyeliner is not the regular one we used to wear on, you know, daily basis like Fleck or a cat eyeliner. Okay, so let me show you how to create that same eyeliner. So yeah, I just love her eyeliner in that drama. I mean, it literally makes her eyes so big. Her eyes with that eyeliner looks so beautiful. I mean, seriously. If you don't believe me, go and watch that drama series by yourself. And okay, then I'm going to use this Karaja eyeliner in jet black and I'm just going to fix everything. I mean, I'm just smoothing the lines 
so yes i'm just going to apply over that gel eyeliner and yeah now it's time to put some falsies so here i'm using this red cherry eyelashes in number one to five and yes i'm just going to apply it on my original lashes i hope that makes sense okay so. And now I'm just going to um, fix my falsies with my original lashes and afterwards I'm just going to curl my lashes with my eyelash curler so they mix together and then I'm using this natural glaze cold pencil by Max Factor and then I'm just going to apply on my lower waterline. For my mascara, I'm using this Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara in shade 090 and then I'm just going to apply it on my upper and bottom lashes. So my false lashes and my real lashes blends together very well. So yes, I really love this mascara. This is my current favorite mascara guys. To contour my face here, I'm using this ABH contour kit and I'm taking the shade fawn from my palette and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones, my jawline and my nose as well. So yes, in this look, I'm going for a little bit strong contouring, not that much strong but a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend everything out because I don't want that harsh lines around my face. So yes, and as you can see here, I'm just going to shade my neck as well. Now I'm using the same font shade from my ABH palette and I'm just going to draw two lines with my Sigma Beauty E35 flat eyeshadow brush and then I'm just going to blend it out with the same brush and let me tell you guys I really love I mean contouring my nose I just loved it because I don't have that one slim and trim nose so yeah that gives me an illusion of slim nose so that's why I'm contouring my nose as you can see here and then I'm blending it with my fingers as well and for my blush I'm using this Sephora blush in shade Romantic Rose and uh, I'm just going to apply it on the apple of my cheeks with my BH Cosmetics blush brush angle brush by the way but I'm just using this as a blush brush so yeah to line my lips I'm using this uh, red lip liner and then I'm just simply lining my lips with this To fill in my lips, I'm using my MAC Russian Red Lipstick and I'm just simply applying it all over my lips. And yes, I'm good to go. Mwah. Wait, so how do I forget to highlight my face? So here I'm using this Make uh, Highlighter in shade Oh Darling and then I'm just going to apply it on the highest points of my cheek. In that look, she's not wearing too much highlighter. She's wearing a very soft subtle highlighter. So yes, I'm using... A little bit on my face and then I'm just going to dab it with my damp beauty blender so everything looks really nice and smooth so to add some bling in this look I'm using this bindi or uh, you can use a rhinestone as well so here I'm using this on the center of my eyebrows I guess so yeah I hope I'm doing it in the right way so now I'm just going to add some dangly earrings. Yeah, you can add some jumkas as well if you have that. So I'm just going to wear these um, earrings and I think they look super cute with this look. And yeah, we are done. So 
yes, I hope you all like it. And if you have any other request on uh, celebrating makeup look, then link it down below, and I'll try to create for you. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed my channel, then go and hit the subscribe button.